say hi. Hello. It is uh, Wednesday. It's Wednesday, January 12th. I've got very, I've got some sick babies on my hands. Um, they actually have an ENT appointment on Monday. I think they have to get tubes. I didn't have to go through that with, with my first. So that is a little nerve wracking, but we'll see. And they have a doctor's appointment tomorrow because I think they have an ear infection right now. So they don't feel very good. But anyway, um, just wanted to check in and say hello. I would like to try to get some bath bombs made and possibly one or two batches of soap. And don't worry, I know I said I have sick babies, but they're, you know, obviously they're nowhere near my, uh, my soap making materials or soap making area. Um, and I keep everything very sterile and clean. <laughs> Just putting that out there. Um, but yeah, hopefully I can get some bath bombs and soap made. I'll bring you along for that if I do. Oh, are we ready to walk? Are we ready to walk? Huh? Uh, but yeah, oh, let me go. I'm gonna go take care of these. Go take care of these little babies. And I'll, um, yeah, I'll bring you along if I make any of that stuff. Check back in with you. All right, so I did get the chance to make some bath bombs that night. Um, in that big bowl, I have just a baking soda cornstarch blend. And then I have cocoa butter melted in the pot, and then I've got a small cup of colloidal oatmeal. This is a pretty, a pretty simple bath bomb recipe, but it is by far the most favorite one that I've tried and the easiest one that I've worked with. I really think the cocoa butter makes it come together and stick together so much better than like adding water or witch hazel. Um, and then of course the addition of that cocoa butter just makes the bath bomb so insanely luxurious. It just, it like turns your bath water into silk. It's amazing. <clears throat> so here I'm just combining everything together. Um, I add my cocoa butter kind of slowly, um, not all at once. I'm sure you could, but I like to just add a little bit and then mix it all together, incorporate it, and then add a little bit more. Um, for this recipe, I used oatmeal, milk, and honey fragrance oil. And so then with that fragrance mixed together with sort of that natural cocoa butter fragrance. Ah, it's delicious. <laughs> and no colorant or, or anything. Like I said, these are, are pretty simple, but they really, you know, pack a punch because of what's in them. And then another thing uh, I think that make these bath bombs so easy to make was this mold. And I cannot for the life of me remember where I got it from. I want to say that I got it from Two Wild Hairs on Etsy, but then there's another part of me that remembers ordering them. I got them when I lived in Texas, and I feel like I got a card that said like Texas made or American made, um, but I can't remember. And that's sad because I would love to order more and especially in more sizes. Like I said, this one's on the smaller side, but I mean, it's perfect for me. I mean, it, it will fill up and fizz and turn, you know, a full size bath into, like I said, into silk. And then this is the next night. Um, this was Thursday, January 13th. Um, I kind of got a, got a wild hair to start kind of cleaning up all of my soap for the next release, which is going to be February 7th. Um, that's a Monday, I believe. Um, I'll have all of, um, I think maybe six new soaps uh, listed up on the Etsy shop. So here I'm just beveling the edges, um, cleaning them up, uh, 
I had I kind of shaved the top off of some of my soaps too. They had some soda ash on them. This is something I used to not always bevel my soaps, but I started doing it again because I really do think it just adds a nice little finishing touch to the overall look of the soaps. So, and I enjoy doing it. I was listening to an audiobook here. <laughs> just, it's kind of relaxing. And then of course I keep all of the edges, um, kind of collect all of them, and eventually I'll make a confetti soap using all of the scrap pieces. And then I also played around with some soap dough um, and I have some stencils from Sorcery Soap. I didn't get any video of me actually doing it because it is a process and I <laughs> attempted um, probably four times before I finally got this. Whew. All right, I'm coming in hot. Well, today is Saturday, January 15th. Um, I got my booster shot yesterday and today it got me good. Um, I'm finally, it's about 5.15. Um, I finally start to feel a little bit better, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Um, so I'm sure you remember the, the bath bombs and how I was just raving about that recipe uh, because the cocoa butter holds everything together so well. Well, I got almost, 15, like 18 little bath bombs. And as the days went by, I was, I would pick them up and kind of test them. Does anybody else do that with bath bombs? I mean, you pick them up and see how hard they are. See how, how tight you can squeeze them. So I was kind of doing a squeeze test with all of them. And I just don't, I didn't like it. <laughs> there were probably like five out of that whole batch that were really that were really hard and sturdy. You could like knock them on the counter, but all the other ones, you just squeeze them a little bit and they started to kind of fall apart. I don't like that. I don't want to, I'm, you know, obviously I'm not gonna send that out to people um, like that. So what I did, um, let me flip you around and, and I'll show you. So what I did, I just, I crushed them. I crushed them all. <laughs> so, um, you know, I had kind of told myself at first, well, I'm just going to have a lot of bath dust to use or bath bombs to use for myself. But then I thought, well, why don't I just break them up and make um, little bath dust bombs or bath dust bags out of them. That'll be a new product for me. Yeah, so that'll be a new product for me actually. And I'll feel a lot more comfortable and confident keeping that product in stock all year long. Cause that's, I was saying earlier with the bath bombs because of the amount of cocoa butter in them, um, during the summer months, they'll get squishy and hot. Um, I wonder how the bath dust would do in warmer temperatures too. But anyway, yeah, I'll feel a lot more, I'll, I'll feel a lot better sending that out um, like that, just as the dust. And now I kind of want to start playing around with adding more, um, I mean, you could add more salts, Epsom salts. I love Epsom salt baths. So adding it in with that, um, doing some like botanical additions to it. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. So that'll be kind of a new, a new product. But anyway, I'm gonna go lay down some more and finish out my night. Um, I will, uh, yeah, I'll save the packaging up and stuff of those for the next vlog. Um, thanks again for watching if you did. And if you're here to the very end, leave, um, leave a flower, a flower emoji down in the comments. Um, if you don't have anything else you want to say, um, Hope you all are doing well and do something good for yourself. Be brave, be kind, and I'll see you later.